everyone, this is Shannon from Marky, Monkey Art Creations again. Um, let's see if we're getting this. Oh, I got a big old glare from all my lights. Get this in film here and cam and camera view here. It's just tricky to do. Can't tell. Let me turn this light off a second. I thought I did, and then it moved on me. Okay, all but that top corner. So let's go this, nope, this way. All right, guys. I think we've got it. Sorry about that. Welcome to Monkey Art Creations again. Today, I'm going to do a swipe while I'm trying to get this camera to focus good for us. Oops, sorry about that. And get the whole thing in there. Hopefully, it's in there. It looks to be, and I'm hoping so. If not, we'll move it up and around and we'll show it to you here in a minute. Let me put these away. Okay, I'm going to attempt to swipe. And to be very honest, this is probably one of my first doing in this way. Um, and obviously my first on YouTube. What I'm going to do is type sort of like a spring garden to bring us in the spring, maybe. Um, start getting some spring weather and... Everything, everyone start feeling better in the world and everything just get better. So what I'm going to do is I've got some blues here. And I'm sorry, but I do not totally remember all of the names. I'm trying to see. There we go. There's one. Um, some of them I've mixed. You'll see them as I pour them on the paint. But what they are are these Arteza paintings, paints that you can get. It is so hard with this ring light to see what I'm showing you guys. Let's just hold it down here. Arteza paints. Um, these are the different colors that it shows. If you can see that. I'm trying to. There you go. If you can see that under the camera. I'm going to have to get used to showing you that. But anyhow, it is Arteza. They do come in a tube like this. But they are a heavy body paint. So... This heavy body paint will actually last you just, I mean, you don't need much at all when you mix with this pouring medium and I use flow draw. So, and I mix these mainly three to one with a tad bit of water to get them um, the right consistency. And I also mix them with OGX, which is actually coconut milk, but it does have the dimethicone in it, which makes it silicone. So basically that's what it is. First of all, let's do the, and I should have already done this, let's do the uh, canvas and just type, uh, I believe this is my flow, uh, excuse me, Artist Law Flow really White. So we're going to try to cover our whole canvas in that. And the best swipey tool I have at the moment would be this one, or not really swipey tool, but the best tool I have to actually smear it around quickly would be this little plastic trowel that I bought at Walmart. I think there's some clumps in there. This is the bottom of a of my first flow trowel bottle already that I've done that many paintings. And I plan to do a video to show you guys some of my paintings I did when I was practicing because I did actually have some turn out very well. So I'm going to show you some of the paintings that I did then. And I forgot one thing. You always forget at least one thing when you're doing something. I forgot my torch to do the bubbles. So we'll get that here in a minute. I'm going to grab some of this white paint across the bottom. Make sure I get my sides with some white. Because we definitely want... To get that look going good, let's try to get this kind of go down the side here. Sorry, guys, if you'd like to fast forward through this part, feel free to. I'm just kind of should have done this off camera so you didn't have to watch and wait through this. But basically, I am just making sure that I've got all of the canvas as much as possible covered in white if I missed any of the sides. Um, I will fix that in the end. 
but it's probably pretty good. But I'm sorry, I'll be right back. Oh, also forgot to put my um my apron on, guys. Let me throw that on here real quick. I'm so sorry. Throw this guy on here very quick, like. It's actually, if you've not noticed in one of my other videos, an old Tupperware apron that I re that I got a long time ago. But I thought would work perfect for this. So if you give me a minute, it's actually giving me a hard time right now. I will get it to where it needs to be in order to paint. And I may just fast forward this part if I can figure it out. Still learning the video Ed, when you editing guys, but let me get this on me correctly. For some reason it doesn't feel as tight up top as it usually does, but oh well. It's on me. This is kind of an old shirt anyhow. So we'll be okay. Something's not right with the top. I don't know what's going on, but we'll figure it out. Okay. So something I need to pull tighter on the top, it's not working. But this will be okay. And I grabbed my torch. So what we're gonna do is this does self-level, and I should have let it do that before we started. We live and we learn some when we're starting out with these new YouTubes, and I must have had it open and I shouldn't have. But I'm gonna get these bubbles popped. Did you see right there? There's a lot of bubbles that are popping for me as I run this across it. And I'm hoping I got my sides pretty decent. It's not really gonna matter so much because the paint's probably gonna run down the sides more and that's gonna look beautiful when it does that. I can't really tell what I've done just gonna try to run it just a little bit. Probably should have added some water. It seems like it got a little thick as it sat, but we will just see how this goes, guys. We live and we learn, and it's fun no matter what. Like I said, I see the beauty in just about everything that we do. I hope that you can still see that in the camera. You see here, yeah, I can see that part. But you're not able to see the bottom as much. That's what I'm worried about. Let me grab my paper towel and try to get that to where you can see. You can see that part. And I think you can see this part. It's just hard for me to see. It's kind of dark back here. But we'll adjust. Okay, I've mixed out. A bunch of blues that I'm going to run across the top to make like a blue sky. So we're going to start with that. Let me see which one do I want to start with. I want to go darker to lighter. So I believe actually, yeah, this is probably my darkest one. And I'm going to leave a little space at the top. It's actually going to be what we call our swipe color. And I'm just going to swipe this in white. So let's do this. And that's probably right. Actually, it might be a little thin. And then I'm going to go with this blue beside it. Because it looks to be the next blue that I would want to use. And let's just run it beside it. I've never really done a swipe. Um, done a reverse dip. But I've not done a swipe so well yet. I've not even actually tried one yet. I did one and I messed up on the swiping part because it was not a good thing to swipe with. I forget what it was I used and I put too much pressure. Oh actually it was a paper towel. An old paper towel ended up falling into. I'm getting some drips here but that'll be okay. I'm trying not to do that obviously but I'm getting some drips there. I did add silicone. I didn't say that. I did add silicone to my colors. I'm getting some drips here and there. Try not to do that, but don't fret or don't worry if you do. Okay. This is going to resemble somewhat of my sky. And what I'm wanting to do with it is take some of my cloud mixture 
just to see what's going to happen and run it just kind of real lightly because it's thick and that's good maybe just a little bit right here um, and just to see what might happen on a swipe with the cloud mixture. May work, it may not. We're going to see what happens. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go with somewhat of some flower colors for the middle. This is the rose. And again, as I said, these are all Roteza, or Arteza, excuse me. I'm trying to remember, I do know I used Thalo Blue. In the top, I used uh, um, goodness gracious, can't think of the name of it. Oh my god, I'll put it in the description, guys, for you all. What all I used, uh, color wise, through the Arteza paints. Um, and they're they're fairly cheap in the U.S. You can buy the twenty four pack for like 20 or 25 dollars and anything on the Arteza site this is one great thing I love is free shipping and they offer specials all the time all the time that one was oh I've got the box right here I could probably tell you guys the colors I used on the blue I used um, some cobalt blue cerulean blue I used phthalo blue and uh there was four. What was the fourth one? Cerulean blue, cobalt blue, Persian blue, and phthalo blue. So these were the Persian blue and phthalo blue. And I believe this was cobalt blue. And this was the cerulean blue. And this is rose. And this one is the lemon yellow. Okay. Next, I'm using orange yellow. Going across the middle here. I'm going to try to get my swipe to turn out kind of a look as like a, in hopes of getting the look of something like flowers in the middle, sky at the top, grass at the bottom. We'll see how that goes. My last color on the flower section is going to be purple. Or it's the Arteza Violet. I think that's what they call it. Yeah, Violet is what they call it. I think my paints might be a little too thin. But I will live, you will live and learn on that also. It's all practice and error on this, guys. You can just practice and learn. And as I said, these are one of my first swipes I've done. So we'll probably look back on this one a year from now and laugh at it. Compared to how much... I probably will achieve from then to now, or from now to then, excuse me. Okay, let's see. I want to go, oh, green-wise is going to be a little tricky here. I think I want to go light to dark on it. So I'm going to try this one next, because it sort of reminds me of the colors of, like, what the leaves would be on the I hope we're recording yeah okay and um that one sort of reminds me of what the colors would look like on like a uh like you know some of the flowers maybe or not really the flowers but like the leaves so i wanted to use that one this one this is the next green, and let me tell you the four I used. Um, see if I can remember which is which. I'll have to tell you in just a minute. Um, let's see here. We're going dark to. I'm going to do my phthalo green next. Don't think I stretched this out right. Right. It is going to come down to the bottom and stretch all these colors down. So I probably won't have a problem with it coming all the way down. Even though I've run out of my colors now, I shouldn't have a problem at the end with them all 
running down the way I want them to. Okay. Now, the greens that I used in the Arteza was emerald green, uh, pale green, phthalo green, and I believe I used the Prussian green. I believe this is the Prussian green. It's sort of hard to tell. Um, this was the emerald green. Pale green would be this one, maybe. And then this one was probably the... No, this is the phthalo green. I'm sorry. This was probably the emerald green. Emerald green here. This was the pale green. And this was the uh, Christian green. I'm guessing. I could be wrong. Let's try to run some of these downward. And sort of get them to run together a little bit. And come together. And get my space down here just a little just a little not so much like I was uh, doing there okay leave myself some space there now here's the tricky part for me let me wipe my hands off this is going to be the fun part because I've never really done this so I'm not really sure what I would really want to use as a swipe I don't have any of the plastic so I'm going to use a paper towel, but I'm just going to spray, you can see, I'm just going to spray the end of it so that it gets it wet enough to make contact with the paint. And help me be able to pull it down and then just lightly run my white down that I need to put on there. Oops. I about didn't put it on there. Would have been in trouble there. So let's put some. Is the right? Yeah, this is the correct white. Let's put some of that on there. And I'm just going to run all this white down my painting. See what happens, guys. You want? I do know that you want it to make contact. I've got a fan blowing. I think I forgot to shut it off. You want it to make contact and sort of lay down on your paints kind of like that. And then just slowly. You know what I forgot? I want to stand up for this. So I can get a better pull. Okay, here we go. We're going to slowly pull this down. What happens? Guys, wow. Just wow. <laughs> that really, really sailed up for me down here. I mean, that just, wow. The top, I may have put a little too much white. I'm going to try my best to get this top. I don't want to mess with it. So if I mess with this, anytime I mess with my paintings, I regret it. Because I feel like I mess up the good, the pure, the look that it was supposed to have to start with. I'm going to shoot my, uh, let it sit for a minute. But then I am going to put some of my, um, Goodness, I can't think tonight. My torch up top here so that we can see if we can get some of that blue to come through. Because there's just too much white up top. I didn't want that much white up top. But let's see if we can torch it here and get some more of that blue. I may have run my blue down when I did it. But I could put a tad bit of blue up there maybe. If it doesn't come through while torching. This is the only area I want to torch. See if I can get some blue to come up through. For the sky. 
Did I? I think I just did, didn't I? There we go. Let's do some more up top. See if I can get some more blue to come through up top. Way too much white up top. Here's what we could do. Here we go. I'm going to probably mess it up. There we go. I'm running that blue up some. Mm. Don't want to run it too much. I don't want too much of this color down here to run out of the point of what I wanted it to be. That's getting us quite a bit there. I'm going to leave it alone. That's going to make us like some clouds in the sky maybe. I don't want to mess with that so much. But do you see the lacing we got? I think that happened from the enamel up here. The big lacing we got in the blue. I really think that happened from the enamel. And then we've got some of the greens down here mixing in to be somewhat abstract grass. And then we have our colors here mixing in to be like our sky. Let's try one more time with this torch up here in this blue since I run it up so that we can get it to give us some more blue up top. Probably could run it just a tad bit more but I'm afraid it's going to ruin our look. Not really. Let's get some this way. Oh no, let me come back down. There we go. I'm bringing it back down. So that looks good. That looks good. That looks good. We don't want to bring it down off though. We don't want to bring that dark, those darker, oh, those darker colors off. Let me put some green on here. I accidentally touched some orange. There we go though, guys. There is my first, honestly, first ever swipe. And I hope that you like it. Give me your comments, good and bad. I take any constructive criticism criticism but I wanted this to look kind of like the sky into some flowers to some grass but abstractly of course but hopefully this turned out to be good um and I like it I really like it for my first it's got a lot a lot of cells going on but I do like it quite a bit so thank you for watching make sure you subscribe and when you do subscribe make sure you hit the bell and then move it up to all because there was a change a long time a little while ago with YouTube where they made it to where everybody's went back to personalized so make sure or on personalization or something like that make sure it's on all so that you will get a notification when I do more paintings but thank you very much oh and again what I was saying earlier is that I'm going to do a video of some of my other better paintings that I did in the past and again any of these items are for sale. I'm going to add that to the description. I'm also going to add to the description because I've been using a lot of paints here lately. Um, if you would like to help contribute to me being able to do more art, that would be awesome. And this is, and then as always, remember this is in the memory of my daughter Chelsea Renee Gunter and. She was with me tonight, and I think she would love this. And just always remember, this is all in memory of her. And that God is good. God is great. He took my angel to heaven, and she's watching over us today. But thank you very much, guys, for watching. And happy painting in the future. Thanks a lot.